Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. Be the difference in someone's life today. Phone 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. On this solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, put this question to the ages that are past that went before you from the time God created man on earth. Was there ever a word so majestic from one end of heaven to the other? Was anything ever heard? Did ever a people hear the voice of the living God speaking from the heart of the fire as you heard it and remain alive? Has any God ventured to take to himself one nation from the midst of another by ordeals, signs, wonders, war with mighty hand and outstretched arm by fearsome terrors? All this that the Lord your God did for you before your eyes in Egypt? Understand this today, therefore, and take it to heart. The Lord is God indeed, in heaven above, as on earth beneath, he and no other. Keep his laws and commandments as I give them to you today, so that you and your children may prosper and live long in the land that the Lord your God gives you forever. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Everyone moved by the Spirit is a son of God. The Spirit you received is not a spirit of slaves bringing fear into your lives again. It is the Spirit of sons, and it makes us cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself and our spirit bear witness that we are children of God. And if we are children, we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, sharing his sufferings so as to share in his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The eleven disciples set out for Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had arranged to meet them. When they saw him, they fell down before him, though some hesitated. Jesus came up and spoke to them. He said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to observe all the commands I gave you. And know that I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. From the beginning of the church's liturgical year on the first Sunday of Advent up until today, 
we've had the opportunity to commemorate and meditate upon all the great works, all the great actions and deeds of God. In Advent, we celebrated and commemorated God preparing his people to receive the Messiah. And then we came to Christmas and were able to celebrate the incarnation of Christ and also to meditate upon the mysteries of his early life, him sharing in our human condition. Then, after a short break, we moved on towards Lent and we commemorated Jesus going further into that human experience, going into the desert. And then we came even more to his sharing in our condition, his suffering and death during Holy Week. And we've had the great joy of celebrating his resurrection at Easter, his ascension and the sending of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Today's great solemnity draws us to acknowledge who it is who has done these great works. The God himself who has done all these things. The Holy Trinity, one God, three persons. Not three separate gods, not one God who appears to us in three different ways, but one God and three persons. An eternal communion of life and love. And this eternal communion has poured out into all of creation. The whole reason for our Christian life, the whole reason God has acted in the world is for us to be drawn into this communion of life and love, for us to be swept up into the life of God. St. Paul proclaims that to us in our second reading today. He mentions all three persons of the Trinity and he said the spirit moves in us. The Spirit moves in us, and whoever the Spirit moves in is made a son of God. The Spirit works in us to make us children of God alongside Christ. And then he says the Spirit moves in us so that we, with Christ, can call out Abba, Father. The gift of our baptism, the gift of our Christian life, being drawn into that communion of life and love. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, who created us, who redeemed us, and who wills for us to live in his communion of life and love for eternity. Let us now join in professing our faith in our triune God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Sisters and brothers, God has made us a holy people. Let us intercede now for those who are in need. That our nation will seek meaningful reconciliation with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. In faith we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are uncertain and hesitant will come to know and love the Christ they seek. In faith we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That baptized in Christ and moved by the Spirit, this community will live out God's commandment to love. In faith we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Most high God, in Christ you have made us your sons and daughters. Hear our prayers and help us to become more effective witnesses by the power of your Holy Spirit. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with you, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in, his, in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal trinity in undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.